of our business is Impact Island Cafe, and we're located in Ocala, Florida, on Baseline Road, 1750 Southeast 58th Avenue, Ocala, Florida. Um, we've been in business for three going to four years. Um, we started off doing events only, then we started doing some catering, and now we have a stationary um, spot. So we serve authentic Caribbean food and vegan food. Really good, homemade, um, plant-based specialties. So we settled on Caribbean and vegan food because it comes second nature to us. We're from Antigua, we're from the Caribbean, and my mom does really good Caribbean food. And uh, it was something that's easy for us. And vegan options, I am not a meat eater, but and we know how to cook really good, delicious vegan food. So we decided to merge those two. There's a lot of people who are vegans and are looking for good options. So we thought it would be great. The most popular dish from our food truck is the oxtail, the beef oxtail and also the vegan platter. Those two are hand in hand, like the most popular dishes, but definitely the oxtail. The beef oxtail with rice and peas, fried plantains, and steamed vegetables. It started out with me being in college, making smoothies from my dorm room. And a lot of my friends said, hey, you should sell these smoothies. Like, you should sell these. And my mom, she's a great cook, and she used to sell food in the Caribbean. Back in Antigua, where we're from, she used to sell food. And we decided to merge our um, passions and our dreams together and open a cafe. Um, one thing that's really unique about us is um, we have a full experience when you come to Impact Island Cafe. We not only serve you awesome food, but great customer service, warm smiles, and we have um, nice steel pen music, Caribbean music playing in the background, so you get the full experience of the Caribbean. Um, I don't think we came up with the name, I think God gave us the name. Um, we were looking at a bunch of different names, and one thing that we're big on is just doing something that you're passionate about and just making an impact however that is. Um, we give part of our profits to a nonprofit, a local nonprofit here called Kingdom Goals, and they have a branch in Haiti. So sometimes we shut our truck down in the summer and we go and we do a lot of community service. So we're very connected to the community, so we felt impact was a name that was kind of given to us. Um, it's not the coolest name, I mean that sound like, oh that's a restaurant, but we thought that was something that meant something to us. So. One thing that motivates me and motivates our family is just knowing that we're serving good food and people are seeking out daily good, fresh, local ingredients in their food and that's something we have to offer and provide and um, just serving and greeting everyone. It's just something that we love to do. We love to do that. We're One of our objectives is to make an impact in the community and we feel like we're making an impact through our uh, food, through our service and our hospitality. Um, so that's something that we're really excited about and then when we get the, good, um, we, we get the feedback, it makes us even happier to continue doing it. So we have a good community behind us. I will definitely advise anyone who's trying to start a food truck um, to do a lot of research. Um, do things the right way, get your documents in order, get your layout of your food truck in order, and definitely when you're planning your menu, don't add too many items. Keep it as simple as possible with like the best items on there. Because when you start adding too much, then it becomes a lot more work. Uh, so a typical work day starts really early as we're here prepping and getting everything ready. Um, it's different. Every day is actually different. So there's no typical work day when you have a food truck. Um, so to all the food truck owners and the people who are potentially wanting to be food truck owners, there's no typical work day. <laughs> but it changes every day. If it's the weather, it depends on the weather. Um, but we start prepping and cooking early, then we open at 12. So we have to have everything ready by the time we open. So when the, um, the lunch folks are ready, that we get them served on time. And we then in between the lunch and dinner, we're prepping again for dinner. And we're done at six, but then there's cleanup and more. So 
So probably 12. I definitely think um, the days that we're open, we're working at least 12 hours. And then we're here, the days that we're not open, just seasoning meats, getting everything ready for when we are open. So it's a full-time job <laughs> in itself. Especially when you're, you have a stationary spot. And for events, events are kind of like a pop-up, so they're a little bit different. But having a stationary spot is kind of like having a small restaurant. My favorite part um, is that you could get up, you could you could be mobile, so you could bring your food to an event, to festivals, to a wedding. So you bring that experience to your customers. And I think that's one of my favorite parts. And also just having that flexibility, um, but still having that commitment to it. So I think my favorite part would just be in able to be mobile when, when needed, if there was an event, and still have it being able to be stationary. We decided on this location, um, you know what? <sighs> you know, I'm not really sure like how we decided to like finalize it, um, but we got invited to this location, and we thought we would try it out at first, and we said, you know what, we want it to be stationary, because we would do a lot of events and moving around, and it kind of worked out better for our schedules and for our family. So we decided to stay stationary for a little bit, but because of COVID, all our events got canceled. So with everything being canceled, we decided, okay, we need to still go out, we need to still sell. So we decided to park here. We were invited by the Happy Pineapple and we thought this will be a great team. So that has been great and it's been working out really good. So we're really happy to be neighbors next to the Happy Pineapple. Um, we currently advertise for our businesses on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Google. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been supporting us and we appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Our family is a small family business and with COVID, this year has been tremendously hard, but you guys continue to support, continue to show up, and we will continue to show up for you.